So I'm here today with the absolutely amazing and gorgeous uh, Lily Rich, who's recently won a competition. Mm -hmm. So I won a Miss Film Festival International. I won the title of Miss Film Festival International mm -hmm. Award 2019 in Cannes. It was it was a very great, great experience. Um, amazing. You, I think you saw me with that crown. Yeah, absolutely. You look absolutely, absolutely like. stunning. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it was a great experience. Um, mm -hmm. So now I'm doing lots of photo shoots and lots of campaign and um, I just done a cover photo shoot for British Thoughts magazine mm -hmm. um, with a designer, with a big design, fashion designer and um, I have a fashion show coming up, so I have a few things lined up coming up. Wow, that's absolutely incredible achievement. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, so you have so many um, events and fashion shows and, and cover magazines, um, exciting things coming your way. Um, we've also seen you in Cannes. Uh, could you please tell us more about uh, how did it feel to be on that red carpet? <laughs> <laughs> well, so Cannes was like a big like wow lots of things just happen in a very short period of time like I, I went to the red carpet twice i went in the morning then i went in the evening um the morning is more boring playing you know lots of people taking photos which they say they're not allowed which is in the daytime there's no photographers there are no celebrities really we still walk the red, red carpet which in the evening you walk and it's quite quick because you go you stop taking photos and all the photographers and then they, you have, after you're done you go inside and all the process is quite quickly because it's just lots of lights and flash so you don't really get to see much you know unless until you get to the theater itself and then you see the screen and it shows you all the celebrities and the actors coming in exactly. but and then the actors talk talk on stage so depending where you actually sit but mm -hmm. it was a great experience to walk the red carpet I uh, oh. definitely want to do it again <laughs> What I love about you, Lily, is not that just you are uh, drop that gorgeous and this amazing, beautiful uh, model and actress, but you've got such a, uh, an incredible inner strength, uh, and uh, you teach and you're a role model to other actresses and models um, who could learn so so much, so uh, who can actually tap into your emotional wisdom and learn about your um, emotional resilience. Um, and I uh, saw one post on your Instagram feed, which is, could you share your Instagram feed? Or? Yeah, my Instagram is Lily Rich Official. So it's L-I-L-I-R-I-C-H underscore and then official. You talk there about uh, your upbringing and how your role is different and uh, how you were a little bit stubborn as well and you just didn't want to be told what to do and you always knew that you had the strength to achieve your goals. That's absolutely inspirational. Thank you. How did you develop that uh, mindset? Uh, wow, well, it's a very long story because <laughs> again, like um, we said earlier, um, when I started my career, lots of people try to put you down and they always mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. is it jealousy or is it they don't mm -hmm. want to see you happy? So they always tell you, you can't, mm -hmm. you're not going to do it, you're not going to make it, you're not going to be there. But I was very stubborn child, like you said, <laughs> and I didn't listen to people. Mm -hmm. And which means I also didn't listen to my parents. Mm -hmm. And if they told me like not to travel for this place, I did. It. <laughs> so I had kind of this, this vision that I was like, if somebody said to me, you can't, I'm going to prove and make it <laughs> that I can. So I, I basically started doing my own thing and I was I became my own person at a very young age, at like age of 15 I started traveling along Amazing. and see the world and doing working and modeling and, and doing all these things. So I, then I noticed that I actually can. So who, who are these people that tell me I can't? Exactly. You know. Exactly. You saw proof and the evidence. Yes, I because I, I worked for it and mm -hmm. I pushed myself and I believed in myself. Um, which is very difficult in this industry as doing modeling and acting. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult mm -hmm. to believe in yourself because there's mm -hmm. lots of projections and there's lots of people that tell you you're not good, mm -hmm. that tell you you're ugly, you're too fat, mm -hmm. you're not pretty enough, mm -hmm. you're not fashionable, <laughs> you're not 
I don't know. You're, to listen to that. Whatever. You're not anything <laughs> of this. So like. Mm -hmm. It's very hard. You have to be really strong and you have to work on yourself and not let those words come in and go mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. You know, not brush them off. Yeah, <laughs> not hold to them. Which can be very difficult. So you need to like do a lot of personal work. Amazing. And you always have to do it. And there is times where I feel really down and I still I don't believe in myself. But then I have to remind myself this is not this is people mm -hmm. saying this is not who I am. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So in, in this very competitive industry, obviously mm -hmm. modeling um, and acting, <laughs> um, have you got maybe um, a tip for other other girls, um, other models and actresses that you would want to share, how they could best uh, tap into that inner strength? Yeah, so again, not listening, to not mm -hmm. listen to what people say in a sense of like, you're too ugly, you're too fat, you're too that. Because even now in this generation, mm -hmm. as you notice on Instagram or social media, like every girl on Instagram now is a model. Um, they don't care anymore about skinny or fat or mm -hmm. you know those things. Mm -hmm. So everyone, there's model for everything. Mm -hmm. So I think if people come and say lose weight for that, mm -hmm. don't you know don't get sick and don't lose weight because there are other companies that take mm -hmm. girls who are not you know like super slim and has no so there's basically for everything and just to keep trying you know keep trying believe in yourself do you know photo shoots and do things always there is some photographers they'll try and get you naked don't do that let's do a naked photo shoot i'll put this in the magazine or like okay, okay. don't believe okay. those things all yeah. right yeah that's very very important <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. okay amazing and um, obviously uh being so beautiful and Thank take care you. of yourself <laughs> and put the inside out uh, what would be your uh, three wellness, uh, healthy lifestyle and beauty tips that you'd like to share with our audience? I'm sure they're very curious to learn. Okay, <laughs> just make sure you don't eat processed food, because processed food is very bad. Mm -hmm. um, but you can still, like, for me, I eat pasta, you know, pizza and those kind of things, but like, made by restaurants or not, not things that I buy from Tesco that are ready food and mm -hmm. you just warm them up. So I try to do that, that's kind of, kind of healthy. I maintain boxing, so fitness boxing. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so boxing. I didn't think of you boxing, but <laughs> that's what is it, right? <laughs> yeah, I love boxing. So boxing is kind of good for uh -huh. cardio because it's a high intensity cardio uh -huh. and it's very good for your heart and for your fitness. Amazing. And again, with the inside, uh -huh. because people tend to put us down and we become very vulnerable. So just try and be strong and try mm -hmm. to be I am beautiful, I am strong, mm -hmm. I am who I am and everybody is their own pers personality mm -hmm. so this is who I am mm -hmm. and I'm special in my own way so don't let other people, not try to copy other people mm -hmm. and be somebody else, be yourself mm -hmm. and try to love yourself. Love that, oh my god, <laughs> it's so inspirational and thank, thank you. you so much for being our guest, I really thank appreciate you very much. And, uh, Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.